Hi, George here. And what I'd like to do in this video is show you how to do the pre-use check or short self-test on the PB840 ventilator. Now, prior to doing the self-test, make sure the ventilator is already plugged into the power and you've got the gas hoses at the back of the ventilator, ventilator connected to your wall outlets as well. The wheel should be locked. And if you remember, whenever you're doing a self-test on the PB840, or sorry, turning this PB840 on, make sure that this blue cap that covers the circuit is removed. So before we turn the ventilator on, we're going to remove that cap. But what I need to do is show you a couple things on the ventilator just to give you a bit of an orientation to it prior to doing the self-test. So I'm going to grab the camera and show you a couple things that are specific or particular to this ventilator. So bear with me while I get it detached from the tripod. Okay. The PB840 on-off switch is located right over here underneath this plastic protective cover. Now for the self-test you're gonna have to go over here and take a look and what you're gonna see underneath here where is it? There's this cord and behind the cord there's this test button. You have to test this press this test button within about five to ten seconds of activating the SST test. If you don't do it, it within that time frame it won't let you do the SST. You'll have to select SST again and repeat the process. So know where that is and it's located on the ventilator. If you're looking at the ventilator on the left side of the ventilator behind this power cord for the screen. Now remember we have to take that plug off prior to doing the test. So there it is. It's off. Try not to touch it now because you don't want to contaminate it. Go to the on off switch and turn the ventilator on. When you turn it on it's going to make a whole bunch of different sounds You'll see it light up. And look at this bottom menu right over here. It says same patient, new patient, or SST, short self-test. Now the way the PB screen is divided, you're going to be able to program your ventilation dynamics down here when you start to, to set the ventilator up for the patient. And it's going to display a lot of its data up on this screen over here. A couple other things, the lower right hand corner it's kind of like a directions or instructions for you to do in case you forget what you need to do when you're doing a certain um, ventilation dynamic change or setup of a motor or something. And also tells you what to do or how to walk yourself through the self-test. All right. Now also we've got on the PB840 this little rotary switch right over here. And this what this knob does is it allows you to change values or scroll between different menu items. Lastly, we've got the clear and accept buttons. Clear means you're going to clear whatever it is that you're going to program and accept means you've accepted the value. So typically you're going to have to make a selection and when you make the selection choose the value of the selection if you want to and then hit accept. But if you forget don't worry it's going to tell you everything to do right over here. So our options at this point in time are same patient, new patient, or SST, short self-test. So we're going to highlight this button and then press this button down over here to start the test. And as long as we do it within the required amount of time, it's going to come to this menu and this is where we can determine the patient circuit type, which is adult. So we'll choose that one. Humidification type, we've got a heated expiratory tube. And the humidifier volume, we're going to go to 290. Okay, once we've done that, the menu down here where the instructions say use knob to adjust and to apply press accept to cancel touch exit SST. So we're going to accept this because that's how we want to start our SST. So we'll accept it. And now it's going to go into this menu and it's going to tell us to do a whole bunch of things. So the first thing it says is connect circuit with inspiratory filter and without humidifier. What that's telling you to do simply is go down to your inspiratory limb, take the inspiratory part circuit that comes off the filter and goes to the humidifier, bypass that and connect the inspiratory limb that goes to the patient to the filter. So you're bypassing the humidifier. Now for cleanliness what you can do is take the short tubing of the circuit and bypass the humidifier. Right? Now since we've done that it says hit accept. Now it says block Y. So to block the Y take your cap and block off the patient Y right over here. Make sure that's nice and snug. Once you've done that, 
hit accept, and now it's doing the test. And you don't have to do anything and it tells you to do something else. So it walks you through the entire process. Now it's a good idea, before you do the SST, is to go through all your connections on the circuit and make sure they're nice and tight. Or at least do it before it does the circuit pressure test, which is the second test on the screen right over here, the circuit pressure test. So we're just letting the ventilator do its thing. When it wants us to do something, it'll tell us right over here. But right now it's just testing. Testing the flow sensor. Oh, it's testing you millennials. Okay, now it says connect humidifier if, if applicable. So because we're using the humidifier, what we're going to do is we're going to reconnect the circuit the way it's supposed to be. So that means this tubing, or this one here, is going to go back into our filter and the inspiratory limb of the circuit is going to be attached to the humidifier down here. So I'm going to take this off first. And then I'm going to grab this tubing, sorry, connect it in. I'm going to take the inspiratory limb and connect it right back here onto the humidifier. Now I'm going to make sure these connections are tight because the next thing is that circuit test. So I want to make sure everything that goes onto the circuit is nice and tight. MDI port, temperature sensor here. We check the temperature sensor down here as well. It's nice and tight. So now what we can do is we can say that we connected the humidifier. Hit accept. Now it's going to go do the circuit pressure test. And if you look closely, You've got that little blue needle on the left where it says 85.0, 85.1, 84.8. As long as it stays within that pass mark, this white portion right over here, sorry, it should pass, and it did. So now it says, sorry, disconnect at from patient port. The from patient port is just simply this part right over here that connects up to that filter and uh, collection bottle. So all you have to simply do is disconnect from here. And once you've disconnected, press the accept button. Now I'm going to hold on to this because I don't really like to uh, let it get contaminated. So until the test is done, I'm going to hold on to it for cleanliness. Now it says connect from patient port. So we're going to go back down here, connect that up so it's nice and tight. Go back, it says hit accept, so hit the accept button. It resumes its testing. A girl, uh, you know what, a GoPro would come in handy right now for doing this. Because then you can see exactly what I'm looking for, or looking at. So right now we're doing pretty good. All the tests so far have passed. And it's doing the circuit resistance test. Now it says unblock Y, press accept when you're done. So we're going to unblock the Y. Hit accept. It says testing again. This won't be so hard for you to do because you'll have both hands to do it. I'm simply uh, holding onto the camera and trying to do the test with one hand. So it'll be a lot easier for you and a lot faster. Now it says again down here, block Y. Hit accept when you're done. So you're going to block the Y. Like that. Hit accept. So we're going to go back to the accept button. Is water in humidifier? Press accept. And there is, and it's going to do the final test now, the compliance calculation, or calibration, sorry. Almost done. Insert music here if you have it. Now it says unblock Y, press accept. So go back to the Y and plug it. Press accept. There's the accept button there. SST completed. 
So now that it's completed, we can hit the, well, there's, we've got two choices. We can essentially restart the SST, but we don't want to do that since it passed. And we can exit. So we're going to exit. SST completed. Press accept to confirm that we want to exit the SST. Please wait. The ventilator is going to do a bunch of stuff now. This goes through a little electronics check. And now, comes back to the original menu that we had before. Now we can go new patient and start setting up our ventilator to ventilate a new patient in with a, whatever mode that we want. And that's in essence how you do a self-check or a pre-use check on the PB 